Hi guys! <laughs> um, so we're way down in the south, we're heading down towards the Tanzanian border. We are hoping we might find some cheetah a little bit later. But while we're here, there's some incredible stuff. And obviously this is an area that's really, really rich in history. And uh, the, Masai isn't a the Masai Mara isn't a national park, it's actually a national reserve. And it's still owned by the local Maasai people. And in doing so, they maintain a certain rights. And if you look here, you can see on the side of the road, it looks like massive big animal tracks. Now, these are actually cattle tracks. And uh, for two Saturdays uh, a month, the Maasai will bring their cattle down here to a salt lick that's a little bit further away. Now, you can see where they come out of the mountain. You see that eggs there? Where there's a, there's a, there's a seep. And <clears throat> that's the, ca the cattle come down this, this gully. And you can have 3,000 head of cattle according to what I've read, uh, utilize the, the salt lake. Now, at this time of the year, they don't. And there's a very good reason, which we found out a little bit earlier. Fortunately, they're not too hungry, but we have found tetsy flies. Oh, what's that running? It's topi in the distance. But there's, we have one tetsy fly. I think I've managed to, to, to attack the rest. Well, there's a few, but here, there's one there. So, the tetsi fly, of course, is a transmit a disease called sleeping sickness. Uh, in human beings, the last recorded case was it was quite a long, or last recorded fatality was uh, a long time ago in 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 the in the sixties. But uh, to domestic livestock and dogs and things like that, uh, it is very very deadly. So at this time of the year, uh, Daniel's telling me while the grass is long, the tetsi flies come into this area. Now, generally, they're normally further south in the in in the Serengeti. But at this time of the year, long grass equals tetsi flies. Now, we're in uh, the Border Pride or what's the other name? Girari. Now, Girari, much better than Border Pride. I think we all call them the Girari Pride. Uh, and that's the biggest pride of lions in the triangles. Uh, there's 18 of them. I think they've got quite a few cubs at the moment. Now, they were seen yesterday in the area we're heading. So, very exciting. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get to see the biggest pride of lions in the Mara. But, of course, as, as, as we spend more time here, we're going to learn a lot more about the different areas. Now, I've already got my sort of favorite area, and I haven't even explored an eighth of it yet. And that's the area down south near the Tanzanian border where we're heading. This is also an area where it doesn't get too much vehicle traffic. So it's quite a quiet area. And, uh, and, and I'm excited. The biggest pride of lions. Cheetah. So always a good spot to look out for. So hopefully uh, as we move closer to the Tanzanian border, the grass is going to change a little bit. They're going to get some rocks coming through. And uh, we're going to start seeing shorter grass. Uh, more Grant's gazelle, Thompson's gazelle, Eland. Uh, there was zebra there yesterday, big herds of buffalo, and uh, hopefully once we get to, towards the salt licks, um, there were probably about 700 elephants around those salt licks yesterday. So we're just going to keep pottering on, uh, seeing what we can find, and 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 seeing and learning. Ah, Liz, Liz is wondering, do we get both northern and southern ground hornbill here? Unfortunately not, Liz. We only get the southern ground hornbill. The northern ground hornbill, or Abyssinian ground hornbill, occurs further north in the country, up towards Samburu um, and, and beyond, and up towards uh, the Ethiopian, Somali, and Ugandan borders, but well to the north. Of course, Uganda is over that way. It's only about 70 or 80 k's from the top of the escarpment to Lake Victoria. And I was talking a little bit earlier about, about the rain. And the rainfall in this area is, is definitely a, definitely a, a affected by, by Lake Victoria. So all that condensation um, and evaporation that comes off Lake Victoria creates this amazing lush grassland, especially on this side of the, the, uh, the, the Maasai Mara up against the escarpment. Now, I'm going to go see if we can find the border pride, the biggest pride of lions in the Mara Triangle. And it seems like Byron is searching for lions as well. I'm not sure which. Could be in Kahumas, could be Sticks, or it could be a Birmingham boy.